Israel's power grid, Israel's power grid, hit by a big hack attack. It's being called one of the worst cyber attacks ever. Come on in, Jamil Jaffa, former senior advisor to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Jamil, welcome to the program. Um, I always assumed that Israel would really harden its defenses, especially around its power grid. What's the significance of this hack attack there? Well, sir, thanks for having me. Look, this is a real uh, threat to the uh, energy systems of the world. Um, you know, we've seen attacks on the Ukrainian power grid. We've seen now the reported attack on the Israeli power grid. I'm unclear what happened exactly in Israel, uh, but this is a very real threat. And, uh, you know, we've heard about the black energy and Havex malware on U.S. Um, industrial control systems. And so we should be concerned. Um, we always assume that Israel is best in the world when it comes to protecting itself from some kind of any kind of terror attack. This, uh, this is a real breakthrough for the opponents of Israel, is it not? Well, look, I mean, every, every industrial control system has these potential connections to the Internet, and if people can get in, either through a phishing email or other exploits, um, you have a real potential issue. And so Israel, while it has great defenses, um, as we do, um, you know, you've always got to be on the, on, the, on the effort to try and get ahead of the attackers. The attackers are always one step ahead of the defense, and we've got to keep our defense up. Okay, got it. Now, I want to bring this to your attention and to our viewers as well. Italy is covering up nude statues while Iran's President Rouhani is visiting that country. There you, that's, a, that's a pretty good cover-up job. I'm looking wow. at it right now. I, mean, I don't see much in that picture. I see a lot of cover-up right there. Now, Jamil, um, I'm astonished, quite frankly. Yeah. This is the so-called moderate leader of Iran. And Italy is doing the kowtow. I mean, they're bending over backwards. Oh, no, no, no nasty statues whilst you're in town. What do you make of that? Well, you know, sir, we've talked about this before. I mean, the, the entire world is sort of shifting its view towards Iran, in large part driven by our decision to make a nuclear deal with them. But the reality is that Iran is getting more aggressive uh, in terms of funding Hezbollah, uh, funding terrorist activities, and, and, you know, stoking the war in Syria. So why we're making these deals and why Europe and the world is coming around to Iran is just unclear to me. Well, why are the Italians doing this? I mean, yes. they want, what's going they on? They want orders. Europe is moving into Iran aggressively seeking business deals. And they are, we saw a huge, uh, by the way, for re Boeing, a huge aircraft deal signed just a couple of days ago with one of the European vendors. This is what Europe is now all about. They want into Iran. It's a big company, a big economy, a big country. It, they're apologizing and, and for their culture yeah, by it's covering ridiculous. up their works of art. It's That's an embarrassment. Absolutely outrageous. Right? It's, I it agree. is outrageous. It is. I mean, okay, Jamil, <laughs> we're saying it's outrageous. What do you say? I totally agree. I mean, you look, you know, I mean, obviously companies have their own economic interests at stake, but as a national security matter, the United States and Europe have to look at the re very real threat that Iran poses to our interests in the region. And having made this deal, which is a bad deal, you know, now implementing it uh, is it's the wrong play. And, you know, we've got to figure out a way to unwind this thing because, you know, the Iranians are not going to comply. We know this. They've never complied with one of these deals in the past. And we're just setting ourselves up for failure. Well, they bought Europe, have they not? All right, Jamil. Thanks very much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Remy Stewart.